I love making these easy biscuits. They're great for making with kids because they're so simple. So I start by taking the flour in a bowl and to that I'm going to add the sugar and some cold butter. It's really important that the butter is cold because when you rub it in it helps get a really even distribution. I'm going to rub the chunks of butter into the flour and sugar until it resembles breadcrumbs. These are great to make with kids because they're so hands-on and they're so simple, you need so few ingredients that you haven't got to think ahead to buy things in. And it's just a really good one because it's quite messy, but if baking isn't messy, then it isn't fun. It's best to use your fingertips to rub the butter into the flour because they're the coldest part of your hand and it means the palms of your hands stay nice and clean. You can see the consistency is right now because it's like fine breadcrumbs. So at this point, to bring it together into a dough, just add a splash of milk and then get your hands back in again. Give it a stir and it will start to clump together slightly. If you just squeeze it in between your fingers, it should come together quite quickly into quite a soft dough. The dough should start to pick up the bits of flour that are on the bottom of the bowl and that's how you'll know that, that it's ready. So now it's in a ball, all I'm going to do is wrap it in cling film and then chill it in the fridge. So my dough's been chilling in the fridge for about half an hour and now I've taken it out. It's nice and solid. It's important to chill the dough so it solidifies the butter so it won't spread when you put it into the oven. So what I do is I just use a teaspoon to measure out small portions of dough and then I roll them into balls using the palms of my hands. And then this is where the thumbprint part of the thumbprint cookie comes in. You take your thumb and you press it right into the middle of the ball of dough till it makes a small indentation and that's where the jam will go. So I'm going to put that onto a baking tray. The great thing about this is that you don't have to use all the dough in one go. You could freeze the rest and then have cookies for the rest of the week. So I'm just putting the last cookie onto the tray now. And then the next stage in these is to fill the centres of all the cookies with jam. Now you can use any kind of jam that you like, anything you've got in the fridge left over. You can use lemon curd, chocolate spread, tinned caramel. The possibilities are endless really. My favourite is black currants, that's what I'm going to be filling mine with today. So all you have to do is put half a teaspoon of jam into the centre of each cookie. And then you just repeat filling each cookie with jam. If you put too much jam in, it might spill over in the oven when they're baking and make them stick to the tray or stick together. But it's not the end of the world and they'll still taste the same. So I've just put the last teaspoon of jam into the biscuits so they're ready to go into the oven. I've got my preheated oven at 180 degrees and they bake for about 12 to 14 minutes until just slightly golden around the edges. So the biscuits have just come out of the oven. They're really hot, so leave them to cool completely before enjoying. And there you have it. Super easy biscuits that are fantastic to make with kids. Click the subscribe button for lots more baking recipes.